Hi, Shona. Hello, how is everyone doing today? Fine, so now it's, it's on you. And uh, thank you for joining us. I know you're trying to run your pop-up there in Sacramento at the Sojourner Truth Art Museum. And um, so I'll turn it over to you. I know you're really busy. Okay, yes, I have a few minutes and forgive me, I'm going to try to uh, turn this so you can see what we're doing, this phone. Uh, so you can, let me see here. All right, okay. So as uh, Ms. Alpha mentioned, um, I'm Shawna McDaniels. I'm a muralist, a visual artist, and art instructor. And um, I am the founder of the Sojourner Truth African Heritage Museum in Sacramento, California. Um, every first and third Friday for the past year and a half, we've been having uh, youth pop-ups, which is sponsored by the city of Sacramento. Uh, something for uh, the kids to come and do on Friday and Saturdays. And this initiation came out of the uh, killing, uh, the, uh, killing of um, Mr. Uh, Clark, Stefan Clark. And uh, there was a, a small riot uh, in Sacramento at one of the malls. Uh, uh, the kids, the youth were really frustrated and uh, they felt their, their voices were not being heard. And, uh, leaders in Sacramento and the city decided to come up with something, again, positive for youth to do on Friday and Saturday nights. And so at our pop-up, uh, our focus, of course, is visual arts, uh, performing arts, music, dance. We have African drumming. We have uh, sewing machines here that can come and sew. We have culinary arts. Uh, we have African dance, hip-hop dance, and about uh, 15 visual um, art pop-up tables. They can come and make jewelry, they can paint, uh, they can make um, soap, you name it, they can do it. And of course, with the shutdown, all of that changed and uh, we moved all of our programs online and uh, we have other programs. We have a youth band, uh, we moved that online and this is one of the uh, programs that we moved online virtually. Uh, the families can come and pick up an art in a bag, which is what our kids are doing right now, our youth. Uh, we stipend them to come and uh, fill up all of these amazing uh, bags with art materials and the families can come pick up the bags and then uh, get a hot meal. So uh, that's one of the things that we also prepared when the families were coming in person uh, is a hot meal. Uh, so the families will be here shortly to pick up the bags, get their hot meals, and then go home and follow the artists online. We've already shared all of the Zoom links and passwords with uh, the families. And so um, quickly, I'm going to show you some of my work. Uh, we are expanding at the museum. So I'm going to quickly show you uh, the space. Uh, that uh, we are doing the renovations. And then we have over 2,000 square feet of murals that myself and other artists, inclu including Alpha, has painted mm -hmm. over the past 25 years of history on the wall. So quickly, I'm going to uh, showcase that. And then I got to... Um... Hold on just one second. I think I lost it. I got to get back to business. So... Um, this is one of my paintings right here. I don't know if you can see it here. I don't know if you can even still hear me. So this is one of my paintings right here. I'm just going to move quickly. I dedicated this uh, piece to Miss uh, Catlick right here. This is another piece right here that I did. Uh, I do a lot of mixed medium. So there's over... Um, a few hundred beads on this piece right here. Um, it's a rather large piece. I like to paint large. This is another piece that I dedicated to Lois Milo Jones. I don't know if you can see all of it right here in the back. This is one of um, the recent pieces that I did that was in a recent show. Uh, the Nubian Woman. I have another piece on the wall here. I don't know if you can see. That's another recent piece. Um, there's another piece that I did. Paper mache, a lot of paper mache 
on this piece and collaging. Inspired again by one of my favorite artists of the Harlem Renaissance, Lois Milo Jones. This is another mixed medium piece. I actually have rice uh, on the bowl and fabric and real beads that I use on the piece. Uh, and of course, this is more artwork by other artists that's in the space. This is another piece, a collage piece that I dedicated to Marcus Garvey, the Honorable Marcus Garvey right here. Uh, so this is a part of one of our spaces here, don't, uh, dedicated to, I'm talking really fast, but dedicated to uh, Sojourner Truth. And of course we do have uh, Harriet Tubman in the space as well. And this is a new space that uh, we just acquired like two weeks ago that is 1700 square feet of space. We just started working in this space. We have a space that's going to be dedicated to um, the Black pioneers of the middle 1800s to the uh, 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 early 1900s. So we're recognizing the Black town of Allensworth and a lot of the furniture that you see in this space is dedicated to that town right here. We have a whole wall uh, with information on um, the town of Allensworth here. I don't know if you can see it here. And um, we have, so when people walk into this space, it's like they're going back in time. Uh, this, the wall right here, we're still working on. It's gonna be dedicated to Mr. Lizardolf. He's the black man that owned the town of Folsom, California. So we're working on the pieces that's gonna go on this wall. We have Sarah Rector right here. She was one of the richest black girls in the world. And we have a piece that's dedicated to her, Archie Lee, right here on this wall. And uh, this wall right here is going to be dedicated to sharing information about a uh, Negro bard uh, that uh, was in Sacramento, California. This entire room we're gonna dedicate to the Dunlap restaurant. It was the first black owned restaurant in Sacramento. So all of these paintings are not gonna be on this wall. Um, Miss Dunlap, uh, she loved the color pink. So we're gonna get uh, a picture of the restaurant and have it enlarged to take up the entire wall. Uh, it was a pink house, inside was pink. So we're gonna paint the walls in here pink. We're gonna have pictures of her and her family, uh, a little desk uh, that we're, we have in here that we're gonna have information about the reservation book. And um, so we're really excited about this 